Okay, so let's what this is what we'll do now, folks. We'll leave, we will leave the sartorias on for now. We'll do the sartorias next week. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean now the lower leg because that's actually gonna be nice and easy and straightforward. Alright? So let's see what we have on the, the human. On the human, we have the tibia bone and the gastrocnemius as our points of reference. Right? Now, tibia bone, gastrocnemius. Soleus muscle, calcaneal tendon, calcaneal bone. And then there's the third muscle right there. Flexor digitorum longus. Tendons run under the toes, flexes the toes. That was the human. Gastrocnemius, soleus, calcaneal tendon, calcaneal bone. Flexor digitorum longus muscle and tibia bone. Cat and human lower limbs, they're exactly the same. So, folks, and this will be the last thing that we're going to do today, all right? So, what we're going to do here now is, on the right leg, on the right leg, there is my semitendinosus right there. There you see all of this connective tissue right there. And again, you can see the tibia bone. There's a tibia bone right there. So, all that we now need to do is, and there's a gastrocnemius muscle right there. And on it is... Areola connective tissue and fascia fascia remember muscle muscle attachment and I just peel it back So there's the semitendinosus. I'm just gonna peel that back a little bit and there <clears throat> Is the gastrocnemius muscle right there and now all that we need to do is clean the area, right? So there's my gastrocnemius So now I'm just going to clean forward towards the tibia bone <clears throat> And remember this white stuff now that we're peeling away that's harder than areola is fascia. And remember now what is fascia? Fascia, muscle, muscle attachment. Muscle to muscle attachment, right? There is the calcaneal tendon, commonly called the Achilles tendon. And here what you want to do is clean the skin off so you can see the calcaneal bone. And remember now tendon is what? Muscle bone attachment, right? So there... We just want to clean that away gently. So here we're seeing two things here now. We're seeing fascia and we're seeing a tendon. We're not going to see a ligament, unfortunately. But they are both white in color. Very, very white. Lots and lots of... What protein fiber? Collagen. collagen. Lots of collagen. So there, folks. So there's my calcaneal tendon. There's my calcaneal bone. Commonly called the Achilles tendon. There is my gastrocnemius muscle and I just pull tight I pull tight extension and then <clears throat> I can gently clean out and pull back the gastrocnemius muscle like that and when I gently pull back the gastrocnemius muscle there is the soleus muscle and both of them go onto the calcaneal tendon right there let me cut that out of the way <clears throat> right so there we see that and then folks the last thing we do <clears throat> is I just need to shave and clean, see where the tibia bone is, right there. Because against the tibia bone face up, on the toe side, big toe, is flexor digitorum longus right there. Alright? <clears throat> so let's see what we're going to do. Number one, gastrocnemius muscle. Number two, soleus muscle. And there's the tibia nerve, which we'll talk about when we get to the nerves of the peripheral nervous system right at the end of the semester. Okay? There is the calcaneal tendon. And there is flexor digitorum longus right there. And there is the tibia bone right there. Whoops, there's the tibia bone. Right? So cat is face up, lower leg, <clears throat> human cat, exactly the same. Gastrocnemius, soleus, both of them <clears throat> onto the calcaneal tendon, tibia bone. On the face up side or medial side or big toe side, flexor digitorum longus. And if you guys want, you can peel the, some of the skin away. And you can actually see how those tendons run under the foot. Okay? Now, let's talk about where we are, folks. So when we are done with that, we're done for the day. All right?